Hello, what's up? I'm Brian here doing another video for you guys, and this time it seems like we've got some prototype images of upcoming Transformers figures, or supposedly upcoming Transformers figures. Now, some of these might not actually happen. They might just be prototypes that just never come to be. I remember there was a couple of prototypes. There was a Follow Cybertron Grimlock that was changed with the head sculpt of the Beast Wars style Megatron that was pitched, but nothing really happened of that. And then I also remember in the instructions of, I think it was Combiner Wars Onslaught, there was an image with him with a Demolisher head that was also pitched, but that never came to be. So take things with a grain of salt with some of these images, but I think for quite a lot of them, these are figures that are going to happen. Uh, first of all, we're going to take a look at is the Red Series. So this seems to be the Red Series Grimlock. At least I believe this is the Red Series. If I'm mistaken, I do apologize. But you can see a more proper colored version of the Grimlock. And then you can see the prototype without the colors. And I gotta say that it looks decent. I'm not sure about the transparent red in the chest. I think it's a little too bold. But you can see the paint applications around the torso. You can see them definitely at the waist. And then you could also see him with the two swords, despite the fact that he's holding both swords. You can see that one's painted, one's not. One has gold with black, and, you know, that looks alright. I, I think the figure looks okay for what it is, but, um, yeah, I don't really care so much about the Red Series until this came to show. And this is what seems to be the Red Series Starscream. Now, I don't have any of the Transformers Prime Red characters except for RC. And I wanted to get the Knockout, I wanted to get Optimus, I wanted to get Megatron. There's a supposed bulkhead that's coming out later down the road. But yeah, Starscream looks pretty alright. Now it is that rubbery plastic, so you could definitely tell with the little horn at the top there. I hope that it's not going to be warped out of the packaging. Uh, you know how sometimes in the package they just tie things up and it's just eventually warped. But I don't see that happening with the closed boxes. Uh, I do like the blast effect at the back of the jet, although he didn't really transform, or he didn't really fly in his robot mode, I should say. And I do like the gun arm that he could switch over with the missile on the side, I think that's nice. It looks like he's supposed to also have additional missiles that are supposed to be there, because I could see the tabs of where they would go. And he's got alternate hands, but the figure itself does look nice. I think it has the right paint applications, the right colors, you know, different variants of grays and, and almost like a dark blue with the red throughout it. Uh, yeah, I, I'm into it. Yeah, it's fine. And then we can take a look at this. Now, this is something that people were freaking out about. This is going to be the Minor Megatron. So this is based on something that was in the comics more so. It is more so based on, I believe, the origins of Megatron. I don't know. I'm not really huge into IDW, but I am aware somewhat of some of the things involved. And so he's got the caution stripes on the chest and on the shoulders as well as the knees. But notice that there's no Decepticon symbols. Anyways, so people are upset that it's going to be a Siege retool, and to that I say, why wouldn't it be? It's not like they would use the Earthrise mold for Megatron, so obviously they gotta use the Siege one, but it is slightly different. The shoulders seem to change. I'm not sure about the legs, but they do seem slightly different. Maybe I'm wrong about that. And the chest is completely changed because you got the little spikes hanging off the torso. So at least there's some reworked engineering to that. And I think it's fine. I think it actually kind of works with the color scheme and with the shape of the torso. It's a much more bulkier, much more sturdy looking design. And I, I think that works with the caution stripes. There's the back, so that does prove that, yes, it's going to be a rework from the Siege, because you can see the little pods on the back are the treads that are typical with that figure. So, yeah, if you're not tired of that and you want a minor Megatron, well, there you go. Anyways, moving on, we also have this Junkion repaint. Now, some people are saying that, oh, this might be Dropkick. And maybe they're pitching that with the colors, but I don't think that's the case. I think this is just a very early prototype because you could definitely see that the colors don't really work here because the wheels are this pinkish color. So it looks kind of random. I'm not sure if this is going to be another Decepticon Junkion or if it's going to be an Autobot Junkion. I guess we'll have to wait and see. Maybe both because, you know... Uh, repaints and stuff, but uh, yeah, it's definitely going to be a Junkion because you can see the spikes on the knees, 
as well you could also see that it has detachment ports on the arms and on the legs because you can kind of see that slipping off so yes this will be a junkion figure i do like the blasters attached to the hands i thought that was a nice touch and then there's also the back which you could see the chains wrapped around the arm which is a nice touch and then you can also kind of guess what he's going to transform into because you could see the front of the car just slapped on the back and it does kind of remind me of the car that we see in some of the images for the legacy evolution line but i don't think that's going to be the case also multiple portholes on the lower arm it also seems to me, and I might be mistaken on this, but I think the shoulders are the other way around, or maybe the legs are the other way around, because you could definitely see the pinholes, and then this just looks like proper shoulders, so... I don't know exactly how he's going to transform, but this kind of gives you an idea of how it's going to look like. Anyways, moving on, we also have this. Now, you're probably thinking, okay, that's just a prototype for Tarn, just with a very awkward-looking shoulder and a sword instead of a secondary gun. What this seems to be is a pitch for the Bludgeon figure. We had a rumor a while back that the Tarn figure is going to be remade into Bludgeon. And that seems to be the case here, not just because of the green color, but because this one comes with a red sword. Now, you will see on the side that shoulder is different than the other side. I'm not sure if they're pitching some redesign work with the shoulder and maybe some of the leg work. Because it also seems that part of the thigh is different, but I could be wrong. Maybe it's just the image and how it's presented. Presented. But yeah, I'm going to guess that there might be some more re uh, sorry, rework uh, involved with this figure. Now, it seems like he's going to come with one gun. I'm not sure if he's going to come with two, but if he does, I'm curious to see if it's going to port right here for the alt mode. I definitely wouldn't mind that, but uh, yeah, I prefer having the two guns. Either one is fine, but it also seems like he's going to have a different chest cover because this thing attaches, and I could imagine that you know, that was probably thought of because they wanted to make a new chest for the bludgeon figure. But I guess we'll have to wait and see. There's not even a head sculpt on this figure, so... With that way, what do you guys think? Are you excited to see the final product of these figures? Please comment below, let me know. Please like, comment, share, subscribe, and all those fun doodads. And I'll see you guys next time. All Spark TV. Now that's just Prime.